After attacking and capturing York in 866 AD, Ivor the Boneless turned his attention north to a 350 million year old volcanic plug that rises 240 feet above the River Clyde. Known as Dumbarton Rock, this rock was the capital of the Old Clue, meaning Rock of the Clyde, which was an early kingdom of what later was referred to as the Kingdom of Strathclyde, which was largely made up of Celtic Britons. The region in which they occupied was known as the Hen Oglyf in Old Welsh, meaning Old North, and the people spoke Cumbric, a variant of the common Brythonic language, with Cumbric thought to be closely related to modern Welsh. This led to these people often being referred to as Cumbrians who occupied the southwest region of what we call Scotland today. Dumbarton, meaning Fort of the Britons, was a defensive stronghold of the Old Clue, with Dumbarton Rock allowing them to control the shipping trade along the River Clyde. Long considered a prized fort, Dumbarton Rock was attacked several times before the Vikings, including by a coordinated attack by the Picts and the Angles a century or so prior to the Vikings. Ivor the Boneless was not alone in his Viking assault on the Barton Rock, as he teamed up with the Viking ruler of Dublin, Olaf the White. At this point, it's important to note that there is some debate about exactly who these Viking leaders were. Some sources say that the two leaders of the Viking campaign in Dumbarton were Eimer and Amle Kunung, although Eimer may simply be a different name for Ivor, and Amla Kunung just another name for Olaf. With this being said, Ivor marched his army north from York, whilst Olaf sailed from Ireland and along the River Clyde. Hebridean Vikings were also likely to have fought alongside Ivor and Olaf. The ensuing siege lasted for four months, and eventually resulted in the Britons of Dumbarton being starved into surrender. Norse sagas claim that the Old Clue water well eventually dried up, leaving them with no choice but to surrender. The Vikings then stormed and plundered the fort, taking every valuable treasure they could get their hands on. This treasure was then put in a fleet of 200 ships along with captured slaves, which set sail for Ireland. The King of the Old Clue, Artgal Mac Domagall, was taken prisoner and potentially killed in Dublin in 872 AD as a favour to the Picts, who looked to exert their influence over the Kingdom of Strathclyde. The Old Clue did survive, however, with Govan becoming an important centre of the Kingdom of Strathclyde for a century or so, until the Kingdom of Strathclyde was absorbed into the Gaelic-speaking Kingdom of Alapa or Alba in the 11th century AD. After all this epic history, you'll never think the same way about little old Dumbarton ever again. Thanks for watching. Please support this work through buymeacoffee.com and Patreon. All the links are in the description below. Through buymeacoffee.com, you can make small or large one-off donations that help support this work, with there also being an option to make recurring donations every month. Through Patreon, you will gain exclusive access to participate in my bi-monthly Q&A, the ability to vote in exclusive polls, and your name will be included in a special thank you message in each of my videos, all for as little as £1 per month. The link to the Patreon page of Celtic History Decoded is in the description below. Please also remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to follow Celtic History Decoded on Instagram and Twitter. If you're interested in history in general, subscribe to my other channel, History Decoded. Thank you, speak to you soon.